Hey ladies, I am back. Please excuse my red face, my dirty bathroom, and my dirty mirror. I wanted to come on here and do a quick update for you guys. <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to talk about some things. Let's see. First of all, before you watch this video, please go and watch my previous video because I don't want to ruin anything for you guys. And I'm sorry if I keep looking at my phone. I want to make sure um, my face is actually in the camera. So, here's an update about what's been going on because I have not done a TTC update in, since like November of last year. Um, I think maybe the last thing I posted was a live OPK other than my most recent video. Let's see, back in April, I started the fertility testing and went to my OB and I said, look, I'm not getting pregnant. I've been trying for almost four years now. I want something done. So she ordered me some blood tests and um, we checked my thyroid and a bunch of other stuff. And everything came out normal except my DHEA levels were slightly elevated. So she uh, referred me to a endocrinologist. Um, in May, I saw my endocrinologist and did a second panel of blood work. Um, basically the same thing. And again, my DHEA levels were even higher this time. So my doctor thought maybe I have a tumor that was producing too much steroids in my body or something like that. So he ordered me a CAT scan. I had my CAT scan done and everything was fine. So, okay, it's kind of dark. Um, so he referred me to a reproductive endocrinologist, an RE, and I was waiting on my appointment for that. Um, and obviously, I still have not gotten an appointment for that. <clears throat> um, we were still trying. We never stopped trying. But I stopped using OPKs. And I did start using something called Fertility Blend, which I got from GNC. It's supposed to help fertile CM. It's supposed to help with your cycles and everything. But for the past four or five cycles, um, things have been pretty regular with like a 32 to 33 day cycle. So that was exciting because my cycles were never really regular because I was messing with soy isoflavins and all that stuff, which made me ovulate really late and which made me have really, really long cycles. Well, let's see. Um, in June, I got kind of sick. I had, um, I guess a cold. I had it for about a week. And during that time, it was around my, my fertile time, so I didn't really think, you know, I was going to get pregnant. Well, as you know, us peonistic addicts start testing from like 60 EPO, I'm sorry, 60 EPO and on, as which I did. And at 8 DPO, I swear I saw the faintest of faintest lines. I like spammed Facebook for opinions, but nobody else could see the line but me. And I was like, hey, whatever, maybe it's just me. 9 DPO, the line was getting darker. 10 DPO, the line was really dark. So guess what, guys? I'm pregnant. On 12 DPO, I got my pregnant on, um, not a clear blue digital, but it was, um, like the off-brand, like the Walgreens <clears throat> brand of of digitals it said pregnant and as of right now I am four weeks and five days so on Saturday I'll be officially five weeks pregnant I cannot believe this guys after almost four years it would have been actually four years in August that we were trying to conceive and I conceived naturally isn't that amazing completely amazing 
Well, that was my quick update for now. I just wanted to hurry up and get on here and do something for you guys so you guys didn't think I forgot about you. But on my five week um, update, I will be posting what I did differently um, and all of my symptoms that I've had so far. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will be posting soon.